Hey there, I'm Kevin from uh, Mobley Power Sports. Figured I'd make a small video on how to take off a, a lawnmower blade PTO clutch. Whatchamacallit? It's pretty simple. On this one, this is a stallion with a 20 horse. You got these two bolts right here. Uh, this one right here, you can keep on it. And all you gotta do is take uh, this right here loose. Um, using a pneumatic impact makes it really easy. Then uh, make sure you undo this before you do this. I mean, I'm already done. I just had the thought to make a video on it because it's such a simple thing, you know, a couple second video. And uh, word to the wise, or to wary, however the expression goes, uh, this piece right here is on the, uh, the end of the drive shaft. I'll show you in just a second. Uh, if it gets stuck, you might have to put like a, a hub puller on the edge of this plate right here, depending on whether you're gonna actually reuse the clutch or not. Uh, if you're buying a whole new assembly, you can put your HUD puller on this thing and you can put it in the uh, the hole in here and uh, it'll come off real easy. But a uh, really simple job. If anybody needs some help, figure out how to make a video on it since I don't post anything. Stay tuned for an update on the Cougar too. We got some business happening with that here in a little bit, fixing the bullet in the shop and uh, all that good stuff. I've got the, uh, what's it called off, like I was saying, it's just got this little uh, key crankshaft, crankshaft output and uh, just slides over it real easy. The only thing that actually holds it on is the, um, the nut that goes on the bottom of this thing. And then uh, you've got those two bolts that hold the, uh, the little flap in place, that's just to hold the clutch steady while it's uh, being used. And uh, that plug right there, real easy. Well, the plug's hard to undo if it's old. And uh, this would be a good time, if you haven't done it before, replace that because that's kind of the main tension on this whole deal. It's really easy to change your belt when you have the, uh, the clutch off. So, uh, let me show you one more thing about that clutch. I'll wrap this video up. Okay, the last thing on these clutches is, uh... See right here, in this little groove? You can actually see... I mean, if I can get it in the light, right? You actually see there's a gap there. It's hard to see on camera, but you can see it with your eyes real easy. That gap right there, according... You need to look it up by manufacturer, but you need to take your feeler gauge and, uh... Make sure it's set appropriately by tightening up the screws on the sides. And you gotta be real gentle with it. Like a quarter turn could be the difference between like 10,000. So, if you have a worn out one, something you could do is you could actually tighten it up to make sure that gap is in spec. Because there's a, um, inside of here, there's a, you can't see it, but there's a little spring print plate that holds this pulley right here down. And if the gap is too far, the electromagnet in the clutch. I ain't gonna be able to pull it up with enough force and you have this god awful squealing and scraping sound coming from it and then your blade stop turning and you ain't cutting no grass and uh it's a really easy fix diy shit you know you know I, the only reason i'm even making a video on this is because i have to do it and i was already done with it i'd already taken it off and i thought you know what there might be some dude out there who wants to try it himself has never done it might as well give them a hand you know and these clutches are fairly similar on most machines as far as i know you know it's it's just a mid-range professional grade lawnmower it's nothing special it's nothing cheap we got all the trees scraping the damn roof today anyways like and subscribe i'll see if i can make more content because i'm getting bored later dudes